Welcome to Physique, the free energy special interest group where science meets spirituality in the quest for truth and knowledge to free humanity and transform this planet into a paradise. Hi everyone. Hi, this is Crystal. Um, hi. Welcome hi. everyone to Physics 124th meeting. Today is the 1st of May and uh, we have about so almost 35 people here on our Zoom room. Uh, I, If you allow me to share screen, I will show you the agenda for the meeting today. It's so wonderful to have all of you here. A very warm welcome indeed. And those of you who forgot to mute yourself, please do, because we need to have a straight recording here, raw, without any editing. Free Energy Interest Group, which is uh, a platform where science meets spirituality here. Uh, you are in attendance on our 124th meeting, the 1st of May. Um, it's supposed to start like 15 minutes ago, so we were like, twiddling around with the technical issues and all that. And I am Crystal Gore, the founder of Physic, and we have co-chairs here, Dr. Fred Spessel and uh, Pontus Hefger. James Ring uh, hasn't been around this day, so I didn't put his name down there as a co-chair. Usually he was right on the dot. So this platform of ours, I urge you to... Um, join us okay in our telegram group so you can have live interaction with the rest of the members and it's a learning platform where we learn from some of the most brilliant speakers on the planet and here today we have the first session speaker rick jewers the up and coming with his up and coming website called the gpms.world which has already amassed about 150,000 signatures worldwide to support his vision statements uh, to, to free humanity in a way like what we are doing here. So uh, Rick and uh, Femka Shokia um, are two twin flame divine delegates on the planet to assist in this ascension. Rick is a divine guardian of the new replacement system for the world, which is GPMS world. The divine instrument of GPMS world delivers the entire world into abundance and freedom through a simple majority ratification process that enact, that enacts the uh, do no harm, lawful principle of GPMS into full earth law. Rick and Femka, We'll also talk about the importance of the twin flame creator past, the most powerful on the planet, force to effect God's creation and the roles they play in saving humanity. Well, um, and then uh, once we finish the Q&A with Rick in the first session, we will then uh, adjourn to the second session where we have Ron Heyer, the inventor extraordinaire. Um, he made it at last to speak at physics platform. I mean, he was invited to speak at our 113th meeting and couldn't make it. Hey, and now he can. And uh, it's very timely because then we had the uh, honor and the opportunity to launch his free energy device. And why not physics being the free energy special interest group? Heyer is the owner of Heyer Horizons Global Incorporated. Ron is disclosing for the first time his latest invention called the Inception Free Energy Off-Grid Power Station, a 20,000 watts AC output magna drive system for outdoor camping, home backup, emergency, electric cars, RV, boating, off-grid users. That is so good. Not to be missed, folks. So you stay on for the next session, okay? Don't run away once Rick has finished. And then uh, once all this is done, q and done, then uh, I will adjourn the meeting to the 125th meeting, physic meeting, which will happen on the 5th of June. Please pen down in your diary and we never cease to fail you promptly. Every first Wednesday of the month for eight, nine years now, we are here for you. So join us, subscribe to our videos, our video channel, subscribe, subscribe. We have three video channels. We have YouTube, BitChute, Odyssey. And uh, all the uh, controversial videos had been uh, pushed to BitChute 
and they are the highest performing videos, unfortunately, and uh, there's no monetization because uh, uh, YouTube has been playing around with our numbers and it is not fair, but well, that's how it is, isn't it? If you are a truth platform. <laughs> so if you want to write to me, write to crystal at truevisionofpeace.com. See the email address here. You can freeze frame here and copy down all this and join us. Join the Telegram group where you get all the announcements. I apologize. We couldn't get MailChimp to work. MailChimp is run by robots and AI. And once we got stuck with the new policy and not being able to comply with the new policy of squeezing down our 1,500 members, our subscribers to 500, that's it, we're stuck there and they won't allow us to send out MailChimp newsletters, unfortunately. I've been trying for months, trying every day for months to get it sorted out. It won't resolve. So I'm sorry, folks, that you won't, are not receiving your newsletters until I've got to find more time. I've got more time to look at new uh, email softwares to subscribe. Okay. But we urge you to pay forward if you got the extras because we need fund we need funds to pay for subscriptions. Okay. And it's not easy running this platform because everything costs money. And they come up with new policies all the time and they expect us to pay a lot of subscriptions for small little things here and there to keep the, the views oiled for you folks. Everything we do here is free for you guys. We are not charging anything. So do pay for it, okay? So without much ado, I'm gonna introduce our first speaker, Rick Jewers. Rick Jewers and Femka Shokia is, uh, as I said, they are divinely identified as uh, twin flames. And along with this divine identity comes the divine mission. To keep things brief here, yeah, the earth is in an ascension mode, meaning that everything is changing incredibly fast to facilitate the world into equality, peace, harmony, abundance, joy, and love as the old societal matrix crumbles. This is by divine design and Femka and Rick are two divine delegates on the planet to assist in this ascension in all ways. And Rick says, I am a divine guardian of the new replacement system for the world, which is dpms.world. And folks, I encourage you to go into that website. And you, as you know, every time we have speakers speaking here, go into our physical website, hover your mouse over their names and their pictures and click, one click will take you to their website and you will see everything that they do there, okay? And I urge you to go into Rick's website, gpms.world and sign up read all the declarations and all that and and you will find that it resonates so much with your heart which i did uh well a couple of months ago yeah um and uh it's just to support and get the numbers rick will tell you why you have to sign in there to support the declaration uh, so the divine instrument of gpms delivers the entire world into abundance and freedom through a simple majority ratification process that enacts the do no harm lawful principle of GPMS into full earth law. Right. Without much ado, over to you now, Divine Brother Rick Jewess. Uh, thank you so much, Crystal. And I'm so happy to be here in this most auspicious, glorious time on the planet. Yeah, you know, that's right. And, and what I need to say is the great awakening, if you will, would not be occurring if, if not for divine support and intervention. Um, so to keep it, you know, as brief as I can, uh, yes, I am what you would call a twin flame consort, a partner. Uh, my partner, Femka, she decided not to uh, come tonight unless she changes her mind. Nevertheless, I am uh, usually uh, the most uh, fluent at speaking uh, about what I do and what we do. So to keep things, uh, you know, very short, there is the great awakening. There is the ascension that is occurring upon the planet. And having said this, no matter how you look at it, meaning if you look at it from the human perspective, what is, a, what is occurring is the evolution of the consciousness more into the super 
consciousness, if you will. Uh, before I continue, Crystal, am I working? Is the internet working good there? Perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. So having said this, everything occurring upon the planet is not by chance. And to keep it simple, yes, there is on the planet an evil, again, an evil component. But what's occurring uh, day by day, they're becoming weaker and weaker uh, as more of the divine element is integrated upon the planet. So... Having said this, everything is in place for uh, the new worldwide system for the people, which is much uh, different and totally different of the present system that we have. Now, I would not be sitting here tonight, and neither would any of you, if there was not divine uh, protection and intervention, and this I can assure you. As many of you here have had uh, your own experiences and knowing that this is true. So what this shows is that the actual evil has no power or we would not be here. So it's that simple. And what it also shows is that we are divinely supported here upon the planet to take the planet forward into civility out of this present savage state that is it that it is in um, getting to the d twin flames and the divine delegation and the planetary role that they play uh, these twin flame couples like i and we'll get we'll touch on the metaphysics that's involved in this and, and to keep it simple, for the viewers, uh, we are not what you would call human. We are uh, divine beings here in humanoid vessels. And we access and we direct extreme creational energy. And this is the purpose of the twin flame pairs, which are masculine and feminine matches. And they need to be this way. And one of the reasons is, again, to keep it simple, there is the masculine and the feminine to produce procreation, but also creation. So what we have done divinely is we have stepped up the game upon the planet that instead of the energy being put into a child, if you will, in the old humanoid way, these tw these twin flame peers actually create energy that has commands that ripples out around uh, the planet in this dimension. So it's very important roles that these twin flame peers uh, uh, have as uh, divine designations. Uh, there is 12, uh, 12 creator pairs upon the planet, original pairs, uh, but not limited to this. And what's occurring every day as a result of more of the light bodies, the Merkabas, the Kundalinis and individuals is being activated. There's many subsequent twin flame couples are being created as a result. And again, what you can simply see with this, the prowess contained with two 12 original uh, creator pairs affecting thousands of miles of the energetic environment in reality, what you can also quickly see strategically placed all around the planet once you have many twin flame pairs in union, producing and being the conduit for this divine energy, it creates upliftment. All reality resides on a frequency, as we know, on vibration. And what we are doing is jumping that upward into a higher vibration and frequency. And uh, I, will, I am not using such technical terms. And one of the reasonings for this 
I've been divinely conditioned recently to speak to the public, the layman, so they can understand it better. So uh, that's why it's it's kept quite simple and also to entertain all audiences. So when I speak simply, even uh, even the masterminds know what I'm saying. So so it's simple. So, uh, you know, having said this, uh, so we have the divine delegations and, and it is very real. We also have... Uh, from the divine angelic realms, uh, prime creator is very real. Uh, and none of this would be occurring if there was not, again, a, a prime creator and divine intervention up directly upon the planet. And also, just to touch on, there is also other multi-dimensional beings and there's also ships above the planet that uh, the physical naked eye cannot see, that is also assisting with a rapid transitioning for humanity here. And what I also need to say, if everything could be done simply with the snap of the fingers from prime creator, it would have been the case. It would already have been done. But this is not the truth and the case of how this reality is transitioned forward. It takes the divine delegates like I, like you, to do the physical manual work here on the ground to take it forward. And with this point, what I say to everyone watching this, there is no reason to fear anything. For the simple reason, we are omnipotent. We are backed by the universe, backed by prime creator. And once you know this and are able to do it, there is nothing that can attack you, hinder you to any degree. So it's important to know this. And it's each one's individual's uh, responsibility, however they wish to perceive this or believe it. But I am simply saying it is absolute truth. And once you also try it, you will confirm it to yourself and you will eradicate any remnants of doubt, which is fear that you have. Because again, fear is the frequency that the evil, that the darkness were able to control humanity. We are the light. It is a frequency that is truth, which is absent of any of the distortion and the fear spectrum. So again, all realities reside, um, as we're saying, on, on different frequencies. And of course, fear has a lower vibrational frequency than light. And also the darkness, if you will, because of what they are, the evil, they cannot go forward. They cannot exist in this higher frequential energetic environment where we are taking the planet into this. And to also say, once all of the human souls upon the planet know that they are delivered from this present savagery by knowing that GPMS exists, GPMS.world, and that the stress-free choice is here, it does not matter that GPMS is not fully enacted on the planet yet. What does matter is for everyone that makes the choice to add the energy into this energetic instrument as well, which keeps giving, it's more than hope, it's hope being actualized. Because what GPMS.world is, is based on the most logic, meaning that someone doesn't even need to be awake or to believe in God to see the simplicity, simplicity and the logic of it. So <clears throat> we have divinely made the GPMS.world instrument uh, the most simple and most logical to transition the entire planet as soon as possible. So... Uh, <clears throat> Let's say I want, the universe. 
I will help yeah. you share the screen. This is the GPMS website that Rick's talking about, his website. Yes, thank you. So it's a universal nation. Uh, I'll mention that because that is so important. Uh, what you currently have on the planet is individual nations that have, you know, their certain law, their legislations, uh, their monetary policy. Uh, but GPMS is for the entire world that has one simple uh, full funding unlimited monetary policy for every individual and essential goods and services, and also the simple absolute law of God, do no harm. And it honors and respects all unalienable rights that are the intrinsic inherent rights of the individual based on morality. We don't really need to write them because everyone, it's already written in your heart. We use the example, uh, a good soul, if you walk into someone's house, you know what is right and what is wrong. So essentially, this is morality, and you don't need it to be written anywhere. However, we do have the simple guidelines for this. Uh, with GPMS.world, it can be achieved in even a month by now. Uh, we first uh, began it divinely about three years ago. And uh, what we have been contending with obstacles and resistance, as we encounter them, there is a divine remedy applied, which sets off a series of events that puts it as a no compromise, no obstacle, but there still is the process. And one of the processes is that we have taken countermeasures towards was the brainwashing and conditioning of the human population with direct brainwashing that defies common sense and any uh, short form of reasoning or rationale. However, we are constantly opening up the consciousness, expanded, as one becomes part of GPMS. It is actually not one. It is more because of the energetic value and the alignment of creation, co-creation into the new world. So once again, it, it is kept simple and what it is is a worldwide vote and everyone knows how majority vote rules decides what occurs in this case with gpms dot world world it is for the world once the choice is made here through the individual ratification through the consents once we have achieved majority vote this entire new free and abundant system comes into play. There is no more taxes. All health care is free. All energy is free. Uh, we don't need to build any infrastructure. The infrastructure is already on the planet to support this right in this moment. Having said this with quantum computing, with uh, these this sort of technology in the least to be able to quantum compute can be utilized. But the point that I'm making, it's not needing the needed to do it, but it will be part with the existing uh, financial routing infrastructure on the planet. It suffices as it is now to distribute and disperse the funds worldwide instantly. We just have a few IT groups that go in that take down all of the encryption gates and all of the software programs that was installed with backdoor ledgers for the elites and for the two sets of books and all of this. We know all this, but we are not concerned with what they had there. What we are doing, if you will, the entire financial routing system, we just gut it all out. We clean it all out. 
and it's a free flow system with a simple software to distribute and disperse the funds worldwide. Now, also, you need the internet uh, for this. So these two things, the existing financial routing system and the internet, what actually occurs upon the ratification of a majority vote, it takes the lawful ownership of these public infrastructures. And there is no technical or legal or lawful contest uh, against the ownership. All of these things would not exist upon the planet if it was not for every individual contributing in some way. So there is an established bona fide shareholder status, including the child that was just born a week ago. As soon as they're registered into a government's or a nation's economy, they are a shareholder of this. But not only for that nation, whereas that nation participates in world trade, it gives the child the bona fide status of worldwide shareholder, the same as everyone. So this cannot be disputed. There is no merit within any of their legal systems or what they call lawful system uh, to substantiate any claims. So it is a peaceful replacement system that it's, if you will, they just have to hand over the keys if they're still in existence once we get the majority vote. Now, the reason why I say if they're still in existence, because even prior getting to the majority vote, we are raising the stress level on the planet into the higher frequency joy category, which then organically, the remnants of evil cannot exist in these higher energetic environments. So there is that is why it's absolutely peaceful because it's being done energetically and anything of ill intent cannot reside in an energetic environment where it's not there. So to keep it simple, uh, what I will say, this is the divine plan of prime creator and it was delivered through I from prime creator to be put on the planet on connected directly to prime creator i cannot be killed i cannot be interfered with the same as many of you once you know this and you now know it that you are invincible once you let go of a certain amount of fear and trust in what you came here on the planet to do. So with your uh, association, it, it plays a very important instrumental role going forward with uh, what you have to offer uh, your R&D or research and development groups into physics and, and, and science and technology. Uh, plays a very important part for this to be released as part of the new world. Having said this, between here and the new world, as I said, it could happen in a month or it could take less than a year from here. I do not have a definite time frame other than I know we are very close and that it can occur before the end of the year which is very possible and plausible. So again, what for all that knows this information, it's important to add your agreement, your accord through the consent on the website to share it with everyone worldwide. And it can be just shared as a, as a choice. They don't need to understand it. You just say, do you want this free new abundant world where you only need to work a fraction of hours and there is no longer any debt, there is no need for loans, there is no worry for any future financial security. It's the heaven on earth, if you will. So 
if they agree to it, it's the same as signing a petition. And, and it's very simple. Only takes about two minutes uh, to register your consent on the website. And of course, it's under the consent tab that we have there. You just click on that. You put in a simple, uh, your name. We do ask for the birth date. And one of the reasons why we do this is to uh, assure that we don't have multiple um, uh, multiple votes. We need to keep a, the margin of error with the voting as low as possible. So this is one of the measures that facilitates that. And it distinguishes between ones, and especially in countries where you have many with the same names. You need something to identify that they're actually valid different people. And if you have 20 with the same name, you need to know this because we don't want to count 20 with the same name as one. If there's 20, we need to count them as that. So it's very simple. There is a box. There is a box that asks for an autograph. And in this autograph box, you can simply just put a star, a check mark. It doesn't require the actual state there. That's perfect. It doesn't require the actual signature. All it is is an energetic imprint that you made that is there. So it can be a heart, star, draw, beautiful picture. It doesn't need to be your name. This is your energetic signature, which is important. So, and there is a proclamation above. And also, it needs to be known. You see many uh, groups with sovereignty, if you will, trying to take their power back and filling out documents, you know, to put towards a government, if you will, to claim their status. One of the things with that is you don't need to do that and you don't need to um, go through paying all of this money. And also we suggest not to do it because the moment if you're putting documents towards the Vatican, towards governments, what the thing what you are doing is recognizing them as an authority. And what you're doing is disempowering yourself the moment you begin to do that. The real truth is you yourself are the absolute individual authority combined with all of the others that know this. So by having said this again, to keep it as simple as possible, you are the authority. You don't need to prove that to anyone. And this is your proclamation. And there is also a decree there. And this is what gives you your full autonomy, your full authority, which is above actually any of the existing legal structure. Now, until we get more of a vote and get it more widespread, if you were to use this at this present moment, you may get resistance or, um, or, or reluctance or even rejection from any authorities. So what I say is you proclaim your status now, but you understand that the more we have in consent, the stronger it becomes, the closer it gets to being actually enacted into law. Because again, very simply, upon the planet, the majority dictates what sort of reality, what sort of a system it is. And right at this point, you see governments and, and world leaders are still controlling most of the people. They don't know yet that they have this choice. But with that, you need the majority to know that they have the GPMS choice, the new world, the replacement system, then this old, it loses all of its power, it implodes on its own. And this is what we're doing. 
I don't mean to interrupt. I just wanted to know how, where do I click to get to the, uh, uh, the part where you can show everyone here that you have already achieved like more than 150,000 uh, consents oh, yeah. from all over the world. All right. So how, go to how home. Go, go to yeah. home. Home? Okay. Are you seeing on the screen? Yeah. Home. Yeah, there it is. Now scroll, scroll to the bottom, towards the bottom. Mm -hmm. Beautiful website. This one, GPMS. No. Oh, 115,000, not 150. Yeah. But that's a yeah. lot. Oh, my God. There we are. Yes. Yes. And yeah. this is going up. It's growing exponentially daily. So we're now at 100 and, yeah, 15,000 plus members. And everyone that consents becomes a member of this new world the universal world and anyone simply again for what it is uh everyone is going to vote for it 85 percent of the world's population is in some form of lock meaning that we already have the vote we just need to collect it gather it and spread the awareness of gpms into these areas and as we said for the first time ever Every child's voice counts the same as an adult, that they vote on this, and lawfully and rightfully so, because it is the child's future. So they now have a choice to grow up into freedom and abundance and joy like uh, the child's life should be. So this is the heaven on earth with it. And with all of the free things that goes with that. Um, so currently what we have, you, you can see coming in from uh, India. And uh, of course, you know, India has uh, at this time the largest uh, population per nation with uh, around 1.4 billion, 1.5. Uh, however... Uh, the number that are in poverty or lack in India alone is around 85 to 90 percent, which says there is in India at least one billion consents there to be uh, recorded. And what is occurring as the news spreads to more representatives of GPMS, then the numbers span out. So what you're looking at in, in the Philippines as well, you're looking at what has come in about, uh, so far we have registered 55,000, I believe. And uh, this, this is the leading edge. It's only the tip of the iceberg of about currently 1 million consents with perhaps 20 to 30 to 40 million to come very quickly after that. So these are, uh, when you look at China and when you look at Russia, and even, you know, when you look at the U.S., the populations are, are, are quite lower. Uh, China does have a higher population, but what I will say is that GPMS can be achieved without China, but we are getting some from there and the doors do open up again. So as more of the world is supporting GPMS, it puts the onus and the pressure on these other countries as well in the highlight that they have a choice. They must give it to the people to do what is right. And again, everything with this is uh, enforced uh, by divinity. So there is no choice. They cannot renege. They cannot refuse like what was done in the past over the course of the last two centuries with a lot of technology released to the planet that was to be shared with the people that was stolen and kept from them. Uh, since 2012, uh, there's been the direct divine intervention upon the planet. Uh, the seven-year period of trial and tribulation 
that had expired several years ago. And with that, everyone judged theirself also where they were going. Uh, so we are, and uh, at the ending, if you will, of that judgment, then about three years ago, GPMS has been brought in to construct the new world as the old world simultaneously implodes. Right. Thank you, Rick. Um, well, that is so amazing. It's fantastic. I mean, you only started like three years ago, right, the website? We started it. And, you know, when Father Prime Creator said it's time to start it, I had anticipated, okay, Father says now, we put it out. You know, I had anticipated it would have been done by now, that it would have went viral. But as I said, you know, during the course of getting this out there, we had to run into the obstacles of suppression by the remnants of darkness so we could identify those, apply divine remedies, and of course the brainwashing, and also the controlled opposition of groups that the darkness had out there, how they infiltrated, you know, good, noble uh groups taking things forward then the darkness would come in if you will uh to steer them away from their power in the least so during the course of taking gpms forward uh again with all of this panel or anyone watching i mean how simple is it worldwide a majority vote in a new system mm -hmm. So when we say this, if you are a prominent leader or speaker of the people, you know instantly that this is the end game upon the planet, that this is the heaven on earth, and you cannot refute it. And when we look at money, all money, it begins with the thought, with the creation, and typed, if you will, into a computer. So having said this, instead of restrict and limit money with a capitalistic clawback system, no, we know we are the creators of money on the planet. And what we are doing is we're using money as a temporary tool to raise everyone up into happiness, which is the opposite of what presently is occurring upon the planet. Everyone has been controlled and dictated by the money into poverty, into even starvation and death. So because of this huge infliction uh, upon humanity, it is, it is savage. It is not sane. It is not moral. So having said this again, uh, we have the full ability uh, right now, if I was in a uh, uh, place of the World Bank, if you will, it, within a week, the funds would be distributed worldwide through the channels. And, uh, and, and we create the money and we use it responsibly. And it's only a temporary thing, meaning that we have flipped the tables on the darkness with their control of money by making money, money abundant, and then it becomes obsolete. But we need this transitory uh, way of doing it. And one of the reasons is we don't have time for all of the planet to awaken into the higher consciousness. We only need those that have been divinely designated planet upon the planet to take this forward. And you only need, for example, a a small panel to publicly put this platform out there, this choice, yeah. this voting oh. platform. Rick, you're always yes. working perfectly well. So I thought we would just start the, the Q&A here now. Um, um, of course, yes. I can start the ball rolling. So you were saying, you were explaining GPMS world and what it's about, and it's very divinely noble, and it's, uh, well, it's long overdue, it's about time that the whole world would not uh, agree 
to the subjugation of the um the control of uh what had been so apparent in the last three years in the the, the COVID lockdown stuff and all that and the jabs and all that. And now uh, it is time, you said, divinely so, that you're setting up GPMS to get the whole world to consent to to the proclamation, which is so sacredly divine, um, that everyone is encouraged to click on that uh, consent button in Rick's website. And so we have the majority and there's a tipping point. And you were saying the tipping point would require how many percent of the world's population to garner that tipping point strength in order to win. Oh, thank you. You know, we we, we did log uh, some indicators with a gauge. And one of the first things that we did, and, and uh, forgive me if I don't say the first things that occurred uh, that we documented was in Thailand with, I believe it was decimal 002% of their population uh, consenting with GPMS. What it did, it brought them all together into a creative network at least where then things like free energy they did not know existed began to be uh, rippled and shared through with the others. So it was an information, if you will, uh, introduction to these that also created a paradigm shift, which was a very notable on a small scale. So if we take this decimal 002, percent figure and uh, we proportionate it outward uh, and apply it, I believe it comes to somewhere around a million or so worldwide. So what you're looking at is a catalyst, a viral catalytic figure that changes, the, has a direct impact on reality itself. So let's say once GPMS has a million consents in there, this also means that it's spread and distributed more worldwide, but the energetic effects of that coming from every individual with the joy and the enthusiasm and the happiness, it, it affects. It's like throwing a ripple in the pond, if you will. And, and also with this, we have what you know, what you may refer to as the hundred monkey effect meaning with consciousness we don't need them all awake by doing this one thing with those that are the others awaken and what i also like to use one of the examples when you used to hear uh, perhaps the analogy of one enlightened one affecting a million people well, when you do, you know, the rapid math on that, it means you only need about 6,000 enlightened, mm -hmm. higher consciousness ones united mm -hmm. together, and it creates a flashpoint of reality itself that mm -hmm. ripples out into the rest of the collective consciousness. Great. I don't so mean to rush you, but time's running out. Um, so you're saying that um, the world's population now is at 8.1 billion. And if we've got 1 million consenting, then we got the tipping point. And then what next? What is the next step? Are you well, taking this is a kind of like a petition, isn't it? A petition that you're going to post it to where and how is it going to stop the uh, the, the cabal from uh, uh, aggressing on us again? How, how is it going to no, stop? The GPMS is the absolute law, divine authority. It is not presented to any cabal or governments. It is the supreme law. So there is no contest. As I mentioned earlier, it, it just is by what it is. It's from God. It's absolute law. So all of their legal systems are inferior and they're actually void, null and void at this time because they're not based on morality where they have created poverty, which has caused death in the least. So there is no contest 
with their present capitalistic cons concept, uh, their worldwide system. It cannot compete with what GPMS is. So there's no competition. So we don't prove need to prove anything to existing governments. What existing governments actually have to do, if they're not evil, they have to comply with what GPMS is and distribute it all to their people. But right. we don't anticipate that because we know the huge worldwide uh, evil syndicate that involves the networks of governments. And more notably, what has occurred over the last four years, without saying it, it has caused many more to awaken and their discernment at what is good and what is bad as a result of the experience, uh, they're already having that. And when you look worldwide right now, and if you were to take a poll, you would see it's 85 or 90 percent or even more that does not have any trust in governments. Mm -hmm. So this right. also is a huge number. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can look at all of the demographics and statistics and apply GPMS to it, and mm -hmm. you can simply see how it is. It, it, all of the solutions is what it is. And, mm -hmm. you know, as we collect uh, the consent going forward, we are also collecting and bringing together uh, the most higher consciousness think tank ever upon the planet. And what comes with that is all of the solutions like the free energy, uh, the higher healing modalities and technologies, uh, the higher physics and science, the metaphysics, you know, all of this is a part of this because these are the ones that are attracted and in alignment with it to some degree. They have been seated enough to know that this old world is not right. And as soon as they know they got the choice, it is the eureka moment, the aha moment. It's here. Here it is. And, and they bring to the table all of their current skill sets and knowledge with that. And yeah. we don't need upon the planet. There's been so many frivolous jobs, non-essential jobs that are not part of this new when we look at when we look at the current financial industry worldwide, it is the biggest employer with perhaps one decimal four billion workers. We don't need that financial system. In actuality, a one or twenty can operate uh, efficiently the new system, meaning that you now have a, over one decimal three billion new to contribute to the essential goods and services workforce. Mm -hmm. And then as you do, you can see with the existing, then it diminishes the required amount of hours today to provide these services. And it gets reflected into everyone only needing to work, you know, maybe 10 hours a week in the beginning, then three or four. But what also occurs where money is no longer a limiting factor, what we do very quickly is we unlimitedly fund the mass production of free energy devices, uh, you know, higher, cleaner vehicles, what have you. All of this becomes free because money is no longer a limiting controlling factor. Right. Um, okay, that answered the questions here. Dr. Christina was asking, why do we need a boat? So Rick has already systematically answered your question here. So over to you, Fres, our co-chair. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, I was sitting here writing my 100th monkey question before you, and I, as this group goes, I'm, I always say that there's 99 monkeys smarter than me. You know, I'm a little slow, and so if I can get it, maybe somebody else can too. But we take a look at the first one. Is there really a difference 
between the first monkey that went, I got it, and the 99th or the 100th monkey or anyone after coming past that going, aha, I got it. It is at that moment that everything changes inside of that individual. All of a sudden, they know. Um, so we, we track back this. And I think in the beginning of your discussion, you were talking about the paired flames, the twin flames, the twin agreements coming in. And in many ways, we can go back and say, probably at one point, there was only those two. But then there, all of a sudden, there was 60, and then there was 600, and there was more than more than more. So shall we let the cat out of the bag right now to the world about the event horizon? What? It's already happened. The expansion into this new reality already began. It began in now time when the first person went, I get it. And so your, what your talk about today, if I get it correctly, is this rash realization that this is a move to something better. Am I voicing what you were, you were saying? Oh, well, uh, absolutely or... and, and fully in its full simplicity. And it's that easy, as you're saying, just a worldwide majority want it. And it's done. But also what you had said, we actually, it already exists, if you will, in the future. And we are actually just playing the roles to manually make it manifest into here and now. So energetically and consciously, it's already been done. So we are just playing the roles to bring it into the physical manifest now if you will. It, it's ascertained, it's guaranteed. That's why I speak with the full conviction as I do. There is no doubt with I. And, and I will say again, and it doesn't matter who believes me or not, I speak directly with Prime Creator, which is a very real conscious entity at least. So there is no guesswork in this for I. Um. The transition, then I'm going to turn it back to Crystal. We get to the energetic signal, uh, signature. And one of the things that I'm, I was really impressed with what Crystal was showing in your website was the energetic signature, other than my one that is recorded with the governments on and on. It says, oh, yes, that's, that's Mr. Fraz. Uh, when we look at other systems that have been talked about as abundance, into the future. They have, they talk about this quantum banking system, this quantum identification system, this other, these grandiose things, this, this digital signature of your etheric self. And what you showed on your website and in there is actually a very practical way of narrowing down this uh, energetic signature. And that's the point that I wanted to bring up to you and maybe let you expand just a little bit more on it. And then I'm done with my questions. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. And, and I love what you said. So, you know, it's kept this simple and, and just uh, it's your energetic imprint that's there. But really, for all of this, we don't need it, but we need to keep it that practical because some do identify with a form of endorsement, if you will. So that, that facilitates that. And where we have many levels of consciousness and many levels of belief, you know, we, we cannot uh, particularly accommodate all of them. But what we do is we do our best as we have done generically with it to keep it as simple and, and to keep the complexity out of it and you know of course there is the apprehension and fears that one but nevertheless our focus 
is not on beating them over the head to make them see. We are gathering the ones that can already see that are in alignment with it. Now, with any of the other systems that you're speaking about, a Goldback system and Nasara and Jasara, QFS, what you see, they have the common denominator that who leaves who in the full control of this. And with all of those, it is the banks and the governments, which is the current existing problem. So none of that comes to fruition, but you also have false narratives that were designed and concocted by the darkness as PSYOP programs to make ones believe this so that they kept them into complacency while in actual fact, the last four years, there's been a very serious thing occurring upon the planet while you had at least these ones that could have done something in a place of false uh, codependency, thinking that someone else was doing it for them. When the actual truth is that they couldn't see, which, you know, it, it's so blatant, that it was just the guys, all of these other systems. The main problem is the entire worldwide system. Who owns and who has control over it? And if you look at who has that ownership and control right now, and if they are the same ones that's owning and controlling these other uh, propositions, you're going to have the same thing the same suppression, oppression, enslavement. Common sense tells you we create the new system. And GPMS is the new system that there is no reasons for personal gain in it. There is no incentives to profit. No one can be bought in this new world with this existing system. How they control ones is you know, they would use the money as one of the tactics. And if that wouldn't work, they would use intimidation because it is an actual evil system. But we don't care about all of that because we just overpower it, get the majority consent, and it's all replaced. So again, uh, organically, all of it's taken care of. But everyone needs to be wise that when you hear things like white hats and all of these children being rescued, really, where is the bona fide evidence of it? And the truth is, there is none, because it's all, most of it is a lie. What I will say, there are some white hat contingents, but with those, I'm in Romania, and with those contingents, I will say with part of Romania military and part of Russia military, two years ago, they were very afraid with no direction and no strategy whatsoever because certain parts of both militaries become aware of the truth of what actually was going on on the planet. And with these militaries, if there was a white hat component there would not have been that fear. There would not have been any misdirection. Thank you so much. Crystal, back to you. Thank you so much, Rick, for explaining all that. Uh, coming back to the inevitable question about the uh, 12 pairs, twin flame, uh, divine, sacred pairs who are coming, volunteered to come here to this planet to help elevate the human condition, as well as the... Uh, assistance of uh, ascension for for the um, humanity species. So how is that coming into action now, Rick? I mean, you are one of the 12 pairs, right? Or are you the, the main pair, uh, the leadership at the helm of the 12 pairs? You and Panther. Uh, let me say I am at least one of the guides out of the 12 pairs. And let me say with this, it's coming along very good. And I've been given uh, the divine order to step it up. Now, what I need to say, this twin flame peers is very real. And it is dealing with direct energy. 
And what I also need to say is that what we are doing, what we need to get out, at least to the spiritual ascension communities, is more of the genuine peers' experiences. And one of the things that they are beginning to see when they follow the guidance and instruction, and it's a course to their empowerment, when they come together in sacred divine intimacy, one thing that they are able to confirm, to validate and accreditate that they're actually having an impact on reality. One thing we tell them to do after your sacred divine intimacy, go outside and look at the effects on the sky or reality. And these are confirming effects to them which eradicates any doubt, which then gets reflected into further empowerment. And what I need to say, to, again, to keep it simple, this is not some fantasy, some fiction. This is divinely real. And what you are going to be seeing, you're already seeing, is indication and evidence of this and how real that it really is, but also seeing the actual potential of it right uh, just out of curiosity <clears throat> because you are in physicality in human embodiment as well as femca okay so the two of you had uh the the blessings of meeting up and uniting on this on this 3d uh, reality of planet earth that is wonderful we also had a speaker <laughs> michael Elijon in the past who was talking about the twin flame uh power how powerful twin flames can get when they are united. His case is a little different from yours because his twin flame, Celeste, is up in the other plane, not in physicality, not in embodiment, in human body, but she was, uh, and she's up in the spacecraft. But they still could have a relationship going on because she would manifest uh, a lot of communication uh, signages or whatever, you know, and she would help him on this plane how to, uh, well, traverse the uh, the journey smoothly. And that's such a joy to know. And But uh, because you're talking about the power of twin flames, so I'm sure there's a lot of light warriors, light workers around in the planet who are like so keen and eager to meet with the twin flame other half, but not everyone is blessed with that. Because uh, the moral values of the planet has plunged very low now. It's uh, like um, it's deplorable and it's sickening to see people having, you know, like many, many, many partners and it has fallen. Humanity has fallen. There's no sacred uh, divinity in the moral values of even the light warriors, light workers around, star seats and all that. So, what do you say to that? Because it takes a lot of uh, divinity and uh, sacred, the highest form of moral values to actually um, maintain or sustain a divine, sacred, twin flame relationship, doesn't it, Rick? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, the, the, moral, the morality involved is such a powerful, energetic state of being. And you know, it does apply directly into uh, the metaphysics with everything occurring with it. Uh, one thing that you said, you know, what we can say is most of the planet, and they didn't know it, are morally corrupt. But at the same time that you see that imploding, we have all of the green shoots coming up around the planet. So this is happening simultaneously. So the new replacement world is already germinated, if you will, and it's sprouting. And uh, so when you, uh, the point I was going to make is that, yes, you know, let's say uh, the Bible will use sin. I like to, I, I use that term sometimes, but what I like to say is, is these are hind energetic hindrances if one does commit these immoral things, it does have a negative circumstance upon them. And the higher we go in vibration in the last 12 years, it is having more of an impact on those that are immoral 
that are lying, that deceit. So that what they are actually doing is be, they're having a negated field that is many more times stronger than it was before, and they become a magnet to the negativity. So you attract the likeness, which is true with this. You don't repel. If you're negative, you attract it. If you are positive, you attract positivity, your soul group, and you become in alignment with that level of consciousness. But purity uh, is the morality is such an important part of purity because everything is energy. Even your thought has an energetic implication, as you know, to reality. So everything is involved deeper into uh, the twin flame physical union and intimacy. Now, everyone knows there's always biochemical reactions in these organic physical vessels. But again, these reactions, chemical reactions is energy, but it is usually based from carbon reactions. With these vessels, what is in the human blood, and it's being discovered more and more, is the crystalline component in the plasma of the blood. <clears throat> and that's not there by chance. It's divinely put there. And having said this, what occurs, it begins to transition these carbon-based organic vessels into more of a crystalline base that is able to survive and sustain in a higher frequency where the dark, where the density cannot do it. So these vessels upon the planet, for many, the DNA is changing. Uh, there is that crystalline-based organisms is, is occurring. Uh, with Femke and I, just as an example, there are times when we... Uh, we're in our intimacy that in a dark room, uh, we could hold our hands up and we could see the golden luminescent, the bones lighting up the same as if it was an x-ray. But for us, this is a gauge on to see the development and the progress of the organic vessels. And this is very real and it is very true. But again, because of my and Femka's twin flame creator pair designation, and also because of who I am using my divine ego, which is my identity, but still with the degree uh, of modesty, but I cannot let modesty nor humility restrict me. So I need to speak the truth, and this is what I say from the divine ego, my identity, this is very real. And we're so fortunate at this time right now that more twin flames are beginning to experience all of these great things. Now, also with the evolution of the physical vessel also comes the parapsychological gifts. In the, in the old human brain, there is a neural pathway regenesis that is occurring as well. In actuality, humanity, the human souls, are evolving internally. And when you see the things about ascension symptoms, this is the result of the incredible change at the, the micro, microscopic level within the vessel. The DNA is changing. So it, it is occurring, and there are times uh, because when we're activated to higher degrees, when the crystalline component in our body is activated as a result of raising the frequency, yes, we begin to glow. And this is not uncommon. It has been written, you know, in the, in the East with uh, yogis and, and what have you. So it has been already written, it has been documented, but the beauty of it is now, it's not a few, it's all of the human souls that are given this chance. 
and this is the illumination. This is the ascension. This has been written about in scripture, prophecy, ancient beliefs that uh, that this time would come. It is here now, and, and we're full-fledged in it, and it's happening very rapidly. Mm -hmm. So when I began my presentation, I, I said we're in the most auspicious, glorious time ever known, uh, if you will, to humanity, and, and that is absolute truth. Wonderful. Uh, we have about 50 attendees now on our platform here listening to Eureka, and we will be, be stopping soon because the next session is coming up fast and furious. I just wanted to ask one last uh, question here, like um, putting things in clearer in perspective. And as you know, there's the awake community out here, truth seekers and all that, and everyone is like clamoring for and opening the third eye and um, wanting to chase for the uh, gifts back, uh, the uh, opening of the third pole and having the divine abilities back. But from what I see and most of us see here, and there's a lot of confusion as well. If you consider light workers, light warriors everywhere, I mean, they have like being become fallen angels um, diving down, spiraling in the moral values. Um, there's no impeccability like the uh, the impeccability of a Toltec Nagual, where they are very strict and very disciplined with the uh, with the uh, uh, what you call relationships, right? I mean, we see here in the West. I'm from the East, so we have a different upbringing, and and our parents are very strict about. Uh, you know, having multiple sexual partners and all that. And that is bringing a lot of uh, contamination to this sacred human vessel of the body. So I don't see how um, many of the uh, hopefuls in the um, spiritual community would be able to have a unity with the divine twin flames, the sacred complement, divine complement, because of this deplorable state of low moral values. Like you see many of the, the people has gone to the burning man uh, community. I mean, some some of the uh, uh, members here had been as well, and that's always free sex everywhere and, and multiple lovers and sexual partners. And there's a lot of contamination in the sacred holy body of the, um, vehicle that we are in embodiment in so what do you say to that not many well, to, to keep it simple we are creating the example here and once you pl apply the hundredth monkey effect once will just oh i can't do that anymore so the promiscuity or promiscuity it is eradicated <laughs> out of it polygamy no longer exists and also because the energetic environment will not allow for it, and also what one's intentions are, they will not be inclined towards something that is disempowering them. They will have a higher consciousness and their morals activated as the guidance mechanisms as we go forward. So again, we don't need to apply it to all of the human race, that's a misconception. We only need the empowered uh, greatest examples that change the paradigm and the reality and consciousness has to get reflected into that to format, to acclimatize with it. And so on the individual level, for example, someone might want like to drink alcohol, but in an instant, they'll quit because it's not part of the new, if you will. Because I see many relationships has got a lot of flaws in that. It's not integrity, oh. there's no sacred, um, what you call, uh, space to hold relationships because they're cheating with each other and having multiple lovers and all that. And it, no, it's all that... 
all of that infidelity, all of these things go to the wayside. They are not supported in the new reality, the same as the darkness. Its lower density acts. It cannot reside in the higher, purer density. So, and what I also need to say, upon the planet, out of, let's say about 8 billion, there is only 6 billion human souls. The other two billion are clones, organic in vitro constructs uh, that are unable to, they do not have the spark of creator, the required energy to transition uh, their DNA. So they cannot exist in the higher energetics. So it's important to have that uh, demographic, if you will. But you must give me a moment. I, I need to go to the washroom. Sure, go ahead, Rick. <laughs> we have <a> press. <laughs> we can have a little conversation. Yeah, we have a uh, we can have a little discussion, which is which is fine. Uh, one of the things that <clears throat> I do for my students is visualization, being able to construct things in their minds, and this begins with meditation, being able to get quiet to settle the noise in your head because we have all the stuff clamoring around and there. We got to do this. We got to do that. And all that kind of stuff. And we get real, really quiet. When we put our hands in front of our head, when we're in the sunlight, it produces a shadow. And we consider the underside of our hands may be dark compared to the other side. If the sun's coming in, we put our hand up and we're, we're shaded. What's interesting is we take the same thing, and I would, I would like our members today that are in our attendance or anybody that's listening to this, is go into a room at night when it's quiet and it's dark. You've got all the shades on. It's, it's nighttime. Now, place your hand with your eyes closed in front of your face. Can you see your hand? What does it look like? In fact, you will start to see the glow, as Rick was talking about with his twin play, the bone or the fingers will start to glow, showing that as we are moving up in our awareness, we are taking on more and more of this light body, and we can see it. This didn't happen a few years ago. This is something new. So you're already part of this ascension process. Crystal, what do you think? Incredible, yeah. I I teach self-hypnotism classes because I've been a uh, practicing hypnotherapist for many, many years. Tell me if Rick is back, okay? We are just finding time until he comes back. Yeah, we were uh, so we were talking I about your glowing bones and the yeah. experiment that I people know, can, because this has not happened much before this. We've had in our literature, in our religious texts, they talk about this glowing of the apostles, the apostles and stuff. But actually, can you see the change in yourself? And it's only been the last few years that I've had students being able to do this. And we start doing envisioning, starting to use the 3D holographic portions of our brain to see things that we normally can't see but it starts with being able to see what your hands look like in the darkness and they start to see that it is light that we are light beings and this becomes the projection screen of visualizing what we want to see in the future which is what you were talking about in the first place is we are choosing to visualize the changes coming and how this might be creating you cannot take the creator out of its creation and it's the point where the creation realizes that it is part of the larger expansion of the universe and everything all of a sudden comes into this time which is the now time i don't care well tomorrow and tomorrow isn't going to get here yet yesterday you can't do anything about it it's already passed but at this moment like where we're talking right now this is now time we take a look at the creator, the now time, he, the creator sees the beginning, the end, and everything in between now as one. He, the back is this far back seeing the whole thing. What about that question I asked you earlier of the first monkey versus the 99th monkey at that point, at that now moment? Got it. Mm, right. We, we so passed the the 
event horizon, but did we really? Is the event event horizon happening right now, now time? Yeah, everything is in the present, in the now. We live in the now. Yeah, uh, let me finish what I started to say. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> hypno meditation, right? Uh, I meditate every day if I can help it. So when we do the meditation, we will be able to connect with the, the, the divine higher self. And uh, it can be done easily because repetition is the first law of learning anyway. And the more you practice, the more you'll be able to feel the connection and see what you're meant to see with the other eye. And it, it's incredible. And I've been teaching our team members and uh, we had been having some progress there. And I, I've been also doing some hypnotherapy sessions for some of the members as well. It was incredible because you can see it's uh, progressing a lot these days compared to those days. We could go into past lives. We could um, access the Akashic records and all that. It's it's incredible. We have people going through that now. Yeah. So anyway, back to Rick is back. Um, is there anything that you would like to say before we close the session? Um, anything that you had missed out that you want to? tell the people with your beautiful messages, Rick. Well, Rick. thank you, Crystal. I, I believe I've been pretty thorough and, and simple and constructed enough to make a pretty concrete story and, uh, you know, a briefing and an overview of it. Having said that, uh, my links will be here if anyone wishes to w look at some other content I put out. Uh, what I do say is to the planet's surface that there is more content that is coming. I am one purveyor of that. But as we keep going forward, what we are seeing, it's being populated with many more conduits of this knowledge, which is required now, like a video game, to continuously upgrade the consciousness. So having said this, uh, I, I feel uh, very good, uh, you know, and if there's any questions. Uh, oh, uh, can I share screen so people can see? your writings you're awesomely oh you're such an orator really you know your, your awesome messages from the divine source that you are putting on uh, facebook so if i show everyone you can go to rick's facebook and read about because there's only so much time that he can tell us about what the divine twin flame is about and all that if you go to his facebook rick jewers you will see like this one is so awesome and profound. Divine love is the most sacred love between the two physical vessels that can be experienced and so far. And uh, it's the highest integrity of the highest, highest sacred uh, commitment for the divine twin flame to come in in unity and all that. So you do read, I, I find Rick to be such a great source of inspiration in the, the 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 life that we ought to lead as uh, ascending beings of light and love so if you go to rick's uh, facebook you will be able to benefit from his pulse of wisdom that he such a prolific writer of the divine messages from above i must say yeah and so all this are uh, explained about the nature of the sacred union of the, the twin flames and everything. Now and again, you will explain it in detail here. So folks, enjoy Rick's uh, pulse of wisdom. Apart from the GPMS uh, website, gpms.world, do go in there and proclaim your concept. And we are well on the way to have a new world. Thank you, Rick. And Absolutely. Baby. Thank you so much, yeah. Crystal, and all of the panel, and yeah, it's, it's great. And, yeah, and there being no other business, this first session of Physics 124th meeting is now adjourned to the second session. And thank you so much, Rick Jewers, for speaking at Physics Platform. Thank you. Namaste, brother, divine brother. Thank you so much.
Namaste. And I may stay in for the next one if I can. Yes, please, because it does uh, is relevant to what you do as well about free energy. Yes. Right. I'll take well, a couple minutes break and I'll be back. Thank you. Sure. Uh, <laughs> so everyone, much. Oh, we can stop recording now. Thank you, brothers.